Okay, if you guys want accurate layer heights for the solid doodle, you need to change a few things in your firmware because they rounded up when they uh, figured out the default steps per unit. In fact, they rounded up uh, about 30,000, or I'm sorry, uh, 0.3 millimeter layer height. So if you notice, you're getting a little bit of weird layer every, I don't know, every four or five layers you'll get a weird layer that's because the firmware is incorrect I think it's set to uh, 22 uh, I think it's set to 2268 2268 uh, steps per unit when it should be set to uh, 2267.72 also, uh, when you set your layer height in, in your slicing program, you're going to want to uh, double check what the best uh, step is. So let me show you guys real quick. I go to this calculator online called uh, Q Calculator. And let's just take a quick look. Um, so here, I set my, uh, whatever my lead screw is for my z-axis. That gives me uh, my revolutions and all, whatever that is, uh, the uh, mill, uh, millimeters divided by revolutions. Lead screw pitch, whatever, that gives me my pitch. And <clears throat> now the, the default for solid doodle is 0.35, so I've put that into uh, desired layer height. But if you look, it says uh, you should really set your layer height to 0.3457 because it goes to an even number step or you know it, it goes to the most uh, goes to, uh, to the next step it doesn't leave you hanging you know at 0.61 so if you were to set your slicing layer height at 0.35 the stepper motor to give you that layer height would have to go to that step okay so by setting your layer height to this your stepper motor can now make a full step, which it will anyway, and that's why you're getting a messed up layer uh, to help your z-axis, okay? So you want to go to the next full step, so this Prusa calculator is awesome. Anyway, you guys can go here, it's uh, <clears throat> calculator.josephprusa.cz this thing is awesome. You guys definitely go here if you guys are messing with your firmware. If you want to know what kind of layer height you should be doing. Because, I mean, I'm telling you, I've been doing this for a few days now. Just checking it out. And I've got some of the most amazing layers. I mean, it's, it's flawless. I mean, I've never printed layer heights like this. I uh, haven't had any troubles. I mean, I even changed out my lead screw myself and I changed out my bed and just the firmware is faulty. You know, somebody thought, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to round up. Well, it matters. So if anybody's having access troubles with uh, the Z-axis acting funny, it's because of your firmware and you're not slicing at the correct layer height for your stepper motor to make it to the next step.